In a family business, the family leader is the reason that you have sustained change or you don't. So that's the secret. Uh, the family leader has to actually believe this is good and also realize that good things take time. This is a long process. This is not an easy, short process. I first visited uh, Pietro Fiorentini in 2013, and I visited them because they are an early adopter of what we would call lean management. In Italy, there are not that many companies that have actually ever <laughs> really uh, tried these ideas. And this company was very serious. And so I wanted to see somebody who was serious. And by the time I went to see them, they had already been at it for 13 years. When you get to 13 years, I'm saying, ha, there might be something there that's sustainable. It's kind of the magic term, is it sustainable? So that's why I went to see them. And I was glad I did. There's a risk in a family business that you find some niche. You've got uh, something that you do that's a great product or a great service. It's in its niche. And you don't have a lot of competition. And life's good. And the problem with that is that you can't grow. Okay? And these countries, uh, companies do need to grow. And you're very much at risk that someone's going to come into your niche, and that it would include a new technology. Pietro Fiorentini had to deal with the fact that a previously uh, electromechanical device becomes an electronic device that's driven by software. Totally different business, actually. So if you're not prepared uh, to make that leap, well, you're going to get left behind. So a lot of companies have gotten left behind, but uh, this company has uh, managed to stay ahead. Well, the first step in any lean thought process is what does the customer want? And not just now, but what is the customer going to want? That's what we call value. And many people hear the term lean, and what they hear is cost reduction, headcount reduction, you know, just make everything less. Well, that's not the point. Uh, sometimes you do need to do more with less, but sometimes you do need to do a different more. People have been asking me what's after lean for the last 40 years. You know, industry 4.0, uh, which we now talk about. By the way, if you listen carefully to industry 4.0, the point is to get rid of all the people so you won't need any management. Okay, good luck. Uh, I think the world's always going to be about people. I don't think you're really going to have organizations with no people. Uh, just computers and code. Eh, you know, maybe, but I don't think so. I, uh, I'm imagining that uh, Lean will be around for a while.